Monday to maintain their winning run at nearby Stockport last Monday. But these are the occasions that manager Simon Grayson and captain Richard Naylor grew up with as Leeds fans. Well, Sir Alec Ferguson's Manchester United don't do cup shocks, never beaten by a club from a lower division, never knocked out in the third round. But the weekend surely can't pass without one shot result, Ian. Surely. And he knows it. Here's Anderson. Losing out, though, to Doyle. And Leeds will be competitive in that midfield area. Tossed forward by Hughes. Dealt with by Brown. Kilkenny. Doyle. Put forward to Beckford. Kilkenny's gone on here. Cross comes in from Johnson. It's overhead. Everybody had gambled on the near post. And Johnson's centre went long. Just over a year in charge of Leeds. They've had a dozen managers in the time that Sir Alec Ferguson has been in charge here. And of those, only Howard Wilkinson and David O'Leary have been given three years or more in the job. It has been something of a poison chalice at times. The post of Leeds United manager. <laughs> They've got one of their own back now. Looking a bit of stability. He's done a great job. He did well at did very well, well in terms of football side, the way the football team played at Blackpool, and he's carried it on. You know, the team is playing with great energy, and that's the way they've started this game. Kilkenny, House. Tucked into Beckford, he'll go for goal from range. He's confident, four goals in his last two matches, why wouldn't he be? Leeds have acquitted themselves well so far, and here is Doyle. Hughes. towards Johnson who's got a bit of a height advantage on Neville he's good in the air Bradley Johnson Anderson though to Gibson didn't see Howson free kicks being given to Manchester United I think it was Paul Kenny who was penalised there's a slight tug on the shirt for Gibson just didn't see him coming but you know there is good energy in there yeah, kill Kenny I think it's, it's, he's spent his time at different clubs and, and built a good reputation for Michael Oldham I think on loan come here and really establish himself as a, as, a, as a very strong midfielder in League One. Australian. Berbatov. Seen off by Naylor, who's leads through and through. Well, back on it back momentarily. It's House. Four towards Beckford, and the ball's over Brown. And this is Beckford, he just ran away from him, but he'll still get a strike in and go. talk about it you know don't get exposed it's too high line you know Wes Brown's far too square it's a magnificent pass a little bit of confusion is he coming isn't he coming Cusack he gets stuck in no man's land and it's a tame little touch but it's good enough it's a wonderful pick out House and picks out a great pass and really that touch should allow Cusack to get a touch he doesn't he's hesitant I have to say it's a cool finish that's what he brings, he threatens to be at the back of you. He wants to get behind and that's a great goal. What a way to go to 20 goals for the season. Jermaine Beckford has given Leeds United the lead. He was involved in a little incident with his manager a couple of weeks ago when he was substituted against Southampton, brushed away Simon Grayson's handshake, but he apologised immediately. And he scored four goals, five goals now since then. Johnson. Kilkenny, it's not quite on the same wavelength as Becchio. Rooney up in front of Kiss Norbo, terrific return pass from Berbatov and Rooney's running free here, keeper committed, Wayne Rooney, oh fantastic goal line clearance by Crow. Rooney trying to retrieve the situation, and there's a flag up against Rooney, it's a free kick to Leeds, but what a goal line clearance by Jason Crow. Berbatov. Doyle, Johnson, that could push Brown, oh given, back all in a little knock there and the ball by Carson, again too often they've come inside, you know, rather than go on the outside, maybe a little feed to Overton and Fabio go around the outside and overlap rather than coming inside.
side all the time. That, that suits me into their strength, Kisnorbo and Naylor, who cope with everything pumped into the centre of the box. It's been worth the trip so far. Manchester United, it's overhead, but it's that idea of trying to make the Manchester United defenders face their own goal, trying to make the most of his speed, Becchio's craft. That's the end of an absolutely captivating first half, in which uh, Leeds United, thanks to Jermaine Beckford's 20th goal of the season, are threatening a major, major upset here at Old Trafford, but... It's a game that looks like it probably still has more goals in it. Half-time scoreline is Manchester United nil, Leeds United 1. Yes, great cup tie. It's 2010, but it feels like 1970. United and Leeds recapturing all the old intensity and Leeds United recapturing all the old magic. They lead at Old Trafford. We've got reaction from Gus Poet and Gareth Southgate coming right up. It's a fabulous cup tie at Old Trafford. The dynamic Jermaine Beckford adds one to his tally and a couple of noughts to his value. A priceless Leeds goal in every sense. United with their chances, Crow the goal line saviour, but Leeds are ahead at Old Trafford. And Gareth, Gus, uh, they're well worth that lead, aren't they? Very good. I think they've been very confident from the start. There's an anxiety around the ground now because of the goal. Um, and they've passed the ball in the right areas. Through the middle of the pitch, they've been very good. You know, the partnerships in centre midfield, the two centre halves who are going to have to <laughs> defend uh, a lot in the second half, and the two strikers are a good pair. And there's a passion and desire about this lead side. That hasn't surprised you, I'm sure. No, no, it doesn't. And. Uh, you know, it was no big difference between the two teams. It doesn't look like it's the champions of England against a League One team. And, and that's, that's what everybody was expecting. So, uh, got to say before, totally agree. You know, there is no better day for Leeds to beat Man United. Jermaine Beckford is the potential match winner we picked out before the start. Really, United shouldn't be giving away goals like this. No, because uh, it doesn't matter in which division you're playing or who's your defender. You cannot give uh, Jermaine Beckford that that space and say Gareth as a defender can, can explain better than me I'm saying I know the first half is no good but you cannot leave him 1v1 one one. no I mean what Manchester United like to do they like to leave their centre backs 2v2 1v1 and trust them to defend but I think what will annoy Sir Alex is that Wes Brown Gary Neville are his two most experienced defenders neither of them are aware to Beckford pulling off Wes Brown's shoulder he's done it throughout the half and, and Gary Neville as fullback should be talking to him and giving him that cover and Beckford's made good runs and his first touch sometimes is a bit sloppy isn't yeah. it Gus but if your second touch ends up in the back of the net then it doesn't really matter and he was helped a bit by Kushak's positioning as well wasn't he he was but I think that was just an instinct you know we saw it later with uh, the chance at the other end just a toe poke and enough to get it give them the lead and United are looking vulnerable from crosses in particular crosses from the right we've had a number of headed chances yeah the, everything is coming from that side uh, all the chances apart from the goal it looked like it's coming across from there they are not defending well different reasons either because the strikers as well or because they are not marking the, the next one I, th I think is this one or the other they are even superiority i'm saying and how difficult it is already to defend when you are one to one but they, they find they say three or four players in the box against two or three so giving too much space this one is it yeah well i think you've got fabio who's naturally a right back playing on the left side and neither Welbeck or Obertan are really helping out their fullbacks. So Leeds are having joy wide, and then it's a case of can they get the quality into the middle? And, and if Becchio, that one at the end, if it drops on Becchio, yeah. he's got a free header. But at the other end, there's a lot of space for Wayne Rooney in particular, and Leeds have got to tighten up in the second half. Well, at the moment, he's playing them on his own in an attacking sense I mean yeah. you know but for his threat uh, I don't think we've seen anywhere near of, enough of Berbatov have we Gus really right. with the quality that he's got he pulled one out of the area earlier in the half that you'd have fancied him to, to do better with this but not an easy chance and should have headed it well Sir Alex obviously thinks <laughs> he would he'd have finished it there's no doubt about that but um, I mean this was a good move Gus wasn't it well this is the best chance I, if you think about which is the, the clearest one I think this is a bit more uh, that a chance at Bex because Beckford really did very well after that but first touch but I think Rooney was waiting for some help in the middle and uh, the goalkeeper as well Kasper and, and defender excellent round. so 
I'm saying they have chances. You know they're going to have even more now in the second half, especially with a few players coming on. So still uh, excited the second half. I think it's going to be a great second half. But Leeds have got this fantastic defensive record. They have mm -hmm. got the ability uh, to shut United out. Well, the two boys, the two centre halves, Kisnorbo and Naylor, I mean, they've got something to hang on to now. So they'll throw themselves at everything. They've defended really well in that first half. The difficult part for them now is that they would have wanted to play the 90 minutes in one go because half time they're going to sit there at Old Trafford thinking we're ahead here. We can win yeah, this. Yeah. Now the mentality changes. They've got something to lose, whereas they came here with nothing to lose. What a cup tie, what a possible story. Fantastic first half, in particular for Simon Grayson, uh, the manager of Leeds. And for Manchester United, it must be a real shock to the system. How does Sir Alex respond to this? It's going to be a thrilling second half, might yet be the shock of the season. We'll be right back. Uh, and what do Manchester United have to do now in particular, Gareth? It, they need to keep their heads. The tackles were starting to fly in just a little bit in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, well, as I said earlier, th th there's anxiety in the ground. You don't often see Sir Alex on the touchline in the first half of a game. So he was anxious about what was going on. Whether he'll make a couple of changes straight away. Uh, he's got Owen on the bench. He's now got Valencia on the bench, who, who wouldn't have been if Vidic uh, had been fit. So that'll be an interesting scenario if he comes on. But I wouldn't think he'll leave it too long because I think the flow of the game's going against them. This fixture, of course, has got a bit of history. We saw uh, a rather reckless tackle coming in from Wes Brown. We might see a little bit more of this kind of thing during the course of the second half as well. Yeah, it depends on the result. If it's. Uh I think that's a needed foul, but you know, when you're defending and early in the game you get a yellow card, you need to be careful. Why? Because why is coming after. You've got the opportunity to tackle the ball and you go through. So it's a race now. From now on it's a race for West Brown, so you, you need to be careful. But if it's still like that, I think it's going to be a few more. OK, is it going to be a huge upset into the second half with uh, Ian Dowie and Clive Tilsley, our commentators? Sharp pass from Kilkenny to Housen. Overrun by Johnny Housen. Brown coming through again. He has that yellow card against his name. And there's a little bit of a, a tussle here between Housen and Brown. Unless Brown is uh, walking a tightrope, if not for the challenge for the afters, he does have a yellow card. I think it's Housen's reaction to the challenge on Michael Doyle, I think, of the situation. You know, Housen gets involved when he doesn't need to. Here's Giggs, slipped into Berbatov, well seen by Kiznorbo, Rooney, play behind Owen, chance here for Valencia, Owen, scuffed in, Berbatov, Kiznorbo crashed in and Rooney fires over, big chance for Michael Owen. 21-year-old Johnny House and Leeds born and bred will make way for the 22-year-old Glaswegian Robert Snodgrass, who's a regular in the team. Left footer, but he'll operate from the right-hand side. Some talent, this boy. Neville and Brown going for the same ball. Doyle, Beckford. First chance for Snodgrass to show what he can do. Held up by Fabio. Rooney to Gibson. To Evans, I should say. Here's Gibson. It's got caught in traffic. Johnson. Doyle. Slip through. Becchio keeps going, fantastic opportunity arises for Leeds, just can't make enough of it. Beckford trying to get away from Evans, and he has won a free kick for Leeds. Well, I think Jermaine Beckford saying, am I not last man there? I think that's what he's saying. I think he's certainly looking for a yellow, I don't think, don't think it was a red card offence. Johnny Evans was the guilty man. He was pretty cynical. He knew what he was doing and he knew the threat that Beckford was posing. There's a tuck of the shirt. Well, Chris Foyers has done most of the time, so he's been spot on. And how many kicks of the ball has Robert Snodgrass had so far? One, two. Here comes the third. 
Substitute will take the free kick. Ten minutes to go. It's not grass. of sealing a victory. Unfortunately, eight points clear at the top of League One. The next opponents, Wickham Wanderers. That's the level they play at these days, but the level they aspire to is just this. on the verge of producing the shock of the round. Giggs, Berbatov, it slipped into the path of Evans and crossed towards Owen and cleared by Snodgrass, but only as far as Neville. Headers from Owen and it just bounces wide. It's a goal kick. And again, deep from deep, path, decent delivery in from Gary Neville, just good defending. It's Crow, I think, throws himself at Michael Owen to get a block. Good defending. Leeds are going to make another change, just trying to run the clock down. It's a left back for a left back. Aiden White, who only turned 18 in October, is going to replace the more experienced Andy Hughes. Another Leeds born player. Yeah, I think Bradley Johnson's going to go to left back. And White will play sort of ahead of him, maybe just to cope with Valencia's pace a little bit for the last two minutes. Rooney back there trying to retrieve the ball, has given it straight to Snodgrass. But he does have support, White's got forward, but it's Kilkenny. At least just want to keep the ball if they can. Here is White, back to Johnson. to Berbatov, it'll come back for him, it's still Dimitar Berbatov, and now Antonio Valencia, it'll come for Rooney, saved by Akergren, Fabio, Akergren's there again, Owen's in there, but it's going to be hooked away by Michael Doyle, and Leeds United have survived again. <laughs> well, that's a great stop, again, it's a good strike by Rain Rooney, and it hits Akergren. Giggs into Rooney, it's come for Evans, it's hit by Gibson, it's blocked by Kiss Norbo. It will be a corner to Manchester United, and this is the cup tie right here. One more minute. Valencia in towards Brown. Wayne Rooney sliced it. And that is surely that. A miss hit that's celebrated like a goal down at that end. Well, they have to say the 
turn up in their numbers. They've seen an absolutely fantastic and spirited performance. Simon Grayson should be rightly proud of his team. Here's this opportunity. Ping bongs around the box, gets out wide, and I think Rooney's going to slash it. He hits it well, and it just it's a great save, you have to say. It really is a good save. Gicks with a header forward. Mikulik away. Akakren has it again. Lifting every second. Come on. Marching on together. Fabio's header. The five added minutes are up. Giggs. Added time to added time. And a free kick to Leeds United. I've got 30 seconds added for the substitution during the five minutes. But I think they've seen it out and you know they deserve their little bit of luck second half in terms of the, you know not luck in terms of they've missed good chances United but I have to say the, the energy, the drive, the spirit the Leeds have played with have been the pick me their manager and the pick me their fans who celebrate in numbers. The third round of the FA Cup never disappoints. We've had to wait until Sunday for it. But the shock of the round has come from the tie of the round. Jermaine Beckford's goal gives Leeds United victory at Old Trafford. Back in the big time today, they've come up with a big performance and a big, big goal. Beckford's 20th of the season, maybe his last for Leeds United. But a tremendous victory for Leeds-born Simon Grayson. And for the 9,000 travelling supporters, he gave it Manchester United's all, threw on the big guns to try to save it. But it's Manchester United out and Leeds United.